Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is the Lego Dude back with another uh, video to um, spice up my new found uh, passion, my new found hobby, my new found life. <laughs> um, as you can see uh, in the background, I actually have my Mac all boxed up. Uh, that's the computer that I've had for, I want to say about about six months, six, seven months. Um, it is a good starting computer, but it is mainly for like office work, mainly for, you know, if you're just starting out in college. Um, it's a good desktop computer, good family computer, but it's not meant for gaming, which is what I'm, what it, my newfound like. <laughs> I've always loved gaming, but I actually have never crossed into the realm of PC gaming. So as you can see, the Mac back here, um, I actually, I have it all boxed up, cleaned and everything. It's being sold right now uh, to my mother. Uh, my mom has her own business. Uh, well, actually it's her own Etsy. So if you want um, the name, I'll leave a link in the description to her Etsy page. Um, but that, that aside, um, I'm going to be bringing in a new so this right here uh, this is an Asus um, it's a 24 inch gaming monitor now obviously you're thinking Jesse you can't play games without you know the actual setup don't worry guys I have the actual uh, setup on its way Best Buy unfortunately didn't have everything available so this was available for me to pick up today at my local Best Buy um, because supply has been limited and everything because of the holiday, Black Friday and then the, the virus. So Best Buy officially uh, just gave this to me today. Um, if you want one of your own, they were only about $160. Um, I know on Cyber Monday, they're gonna be having uh, some really good deals on um, gaming monitors and I believe PCs as well but uh, let's let's cut right to the chase here um, my gaming PC won't be here until next Saturday so um, I won't officially be able to upload any gameplay of mine until next weekend unfortunately but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this now um, I haven't unboxed it yet I haven't even opened up the the packaging or anything because I wanted to wait. Um, I wanted to wait to be able to do this and show you guys what's inside. Um, obviously this is this is one of the cheaper monitors, like cheaper as in like inexpensive cheap. Um, it had actually really good reviews on Best Buy's website. So I'm not saying it was like cheaply made or anything. Uh, Asus is actually a really good brand uh, for starting out, uh, I heard they got pretty good graphics. Um, their frame, you know, their their frame rate's pretty good. Um, I'm not complaining for the price uh, because of all the other screens I saw. The monitors I saw on there were like two, three, four hundred dollars. Some were even above five hundred, which is just absolutely insane. Um, so, you know. It happens, you know, this is what you want to do with your with your life. Of course. Um, actually, I had that question from my mother. Uh, side note, my mom, she asked me, she goes, why are you trying to get rid of your Mac? She goes, Macs are really good. Plus, it's an all-in-one, and they're expensive. And I said, well, I bought it because I wanted an at-home computer to be able to edit, upload, and stuff like that, but then I wanted to get into the realm of gaming, and I downloaded Steam to my Mac. <clears throat> it had so many issues, just trying to get a, a singular game downloaded, and then to actually play the game. Not many games on Steam are available for Mac, and the ones that are, are not like the hot titles, you know, that I like to play. So, that's why I switched and got something that would um, take Microsoft. 
because most of the really good games on Steam are all Microsoft. <laughs> anyway, I officially got the box open. Uh, I'll let you guys see that. So, I am opening up the box. This should be pretty good. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to fight with it a little bit more. So, you won't see my face for a little bit. I apologize. Actually, I'm going to weigh this. Bring this down, actually. So, yeah, Best Buy's got a bunch of deals going on. Um, everyone's topping up all of the monitors and gaming PCs and consoles out there. So, whatever is left after Black Friday and after Cyber Monday and whatnot, might be slim pickings probably for like the next couple weeks or so. Um, now, I ditched the next gen console for getting a gaming PC. Now, because of the coronavirus, because of 2020, we're all broke. So obviously for me, it was either I get a PS5 or I get a new PC, a new uh, gaming setup. And so I said, you know what? I have a PS4. I have a Nintendo 64. I have a PS2. I have a Sega Genesis. I don't need a new console just yet. I'll wait until the PS5's already been out for about six months. Won't matter to me. I'm not really, like, at first, obviously, the, the video I posted, um, I wanna say, what, a couple weeks ago, um, about my issues with the Walmart site, that was because I was, I was trying to get it. I actually wanted to get it. But since I knew that I couldn't get it, I gave up, I gave up trying. And it's for the best. Sorry guys, just trying to get this out of the boxes. A pain. One, two, oh, finally, getting it out. So it's a 24 inch screen, so it's actually bigger than my Mac. My Mac is a 21 and a half inch screen. So this officially will be my main uh, screen. And then I plan to mount the other screen uh, onto my wall because I don't have a big enough desk right now. Um, got all the cords, you know, got all the, that kind of stuff with it, which I figured. Um, got the manual or the, it's actually a VIP member notice. I might have to check that out. I mean, not gonna lie. Okay, so this officially, let me show you guys this. This is officially the stand for it that goes onto my desk. It's actually pretty cool. It's a VG2245H gaming monitor. It's console ready, so obviously I play um, I will probably play with the controller for the most part. Uh, game fast input, one millisecond trace, uh, trace free, HDMI, full HD 1080. So that's actually really good. Uh, play like a pro. Um, so officially it's, it's a, it's already good, you know, for the price. Now I will be the judge of how it looks. Um, I will probably hook up uh, one of my consoles to it to test it. So I will actually show you guys that in my next video or maybe later on. Um, I've got all free time today, so you might see another upload from me here later to the, uh, today. Um, I probably plan to hook up my PS4 to it um, or maybe see if I can get like my 64 hooked up, but odds are I probably can't. Um, oh, wow, okay, all right. Well, that jumped out of it pretty fast. Wow, okay. So this is it. This is the screen. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> it like fell out. So I'm gonna have to unwrap it. I wanna show you guys. So like I said, Asus, I've heard it's a really good uh, brand for gaming monitors and even, you know, um, but Asus is good for a gaming monitor because they have good specs. 
um, for an affordable price, especially since, you know, not many people can afford a two, three, four hundred dollar monitor. So I've even seen some monitors out there for like almost a thousand dollars, but it's a 49 inch setup. So wow. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> this isn't, this also isn't curved. So like I said, this is going to be one of my, this will be my main uh, screen for now until I uh, find my other monitor. So this is officially how big it is. So this will, wow, look at that. Just take that in for a second. Back when I was a little kid, this was considered a pretty big TV to me, okay? <laughs> but, you know, wow, okay. <clears throat> well, let's get it set up, shall we? So, what it looks like it can be, it looks like it can go sideways, like it can actually be set up to where, you know, it can probably be mounted, which actually is what I plan to do at some point. But I don't know if I'm mounting this or if I'm just going to mount um, the other screen. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> this might look really uncomfortable to most people. So officially, that's the stand. That's the arm of it. Um, this is also very awkward for me to do it at this position. So I'll have to put it in the stand on the floor. I at least want to get it to where it's set up so where I can see how it looks. Oh wow, that's actually a really cool. All right. Okay, so officially, all on the stand. I'll show you guys here in a second. Sorry for my... Uh, okay. All right. All right, guys. So I have officially gotten it done. So I'll show you. Oh. Woo I don't want to break it already. So I think I have to tighten it on the bottom. So I'll do that while, you know... So that's what the monitor looks like. That is a big screen. So that's officially probably gonna, like I said, it's gonna be my, my main screen at first, but it's gonna turn into probably my secondary screen because the next screen I wanna get probably gonna be the same size or maybe a 21 inch, but I want it curved. I don't know yet. Maybe if I get a smaller one, I'll have that mounted, but that's so far my setup. Um, like I said, I will actually post a second video of me hooking up a console, my PS4 most likely to it, and have you see the graphics and see how good it plays. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That is my unboxing of the Asus gaming monitor. Um, it's a you know, 24 inch. So, for the price, I'm actually really happy. $160. Now I know what you're thinking, Jesse. You can buy a big 50-inch screen TV for $200, $250, $300, depending on what brand you get. But this is a gaming monitor. This is, like, top, like, made for um, gaming. So yeah, okay, okay. that's why I did it like this. And it's the cheaper one out there. Um, but anyway, uh, stay tuned for my next uh, video for the gameplay, testing it. Um, I will be back, I promise. Um, I got free time this weekend and plus I haven't posted. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, stay tuned. I will be back. Um, and then by next week time, I will actually unbox the actual uh, PC itself. All right, guys. Um, 
stay tuned. Have a wonderful day. And remember to always stay positive, um, even through these dark times. All right.